are you back? The question of the day was when do I use can and when do I use be able to? Super easy as always. So you already heard or used the verb can. Like can always ask what you can do. You remember Barack Obama. Yes, we can, he said. Right? Fantastic. Yes, we can. They can do everything. Everything is possible, he said. So, and I can ask you, can you ride a bike? I can ask you, can you ride a bike, Rafa? Yeah, I can. See, I say, uh, yes, Rafa can ride a bike. Of course you can. Almost everybody can ride a bike. Rafa can ride a bike. So, Rafa, let me ask you, can Esmeralda ride a bike? No, she can't. There you go. No, Esmeralda can't ride a bike. So you see the structure is very easy with the question, can you ride a bike? No, I can't ride a bike. Here again, the abbreviation, the short form, as we mentioned in our last video. So now this here is all the present simple, which I always call me in a lesson, the always form. That's the way it is, or it's not like that. We use it for statues or regular actions. This is what the present simple stands for. So, very easy. Now, as I said, to ride a bike is not a magic. You can learn that. Everybody can learn to ride a bike. It's not magic. Now, but playing the piano or playing the guitar. Right, everybody can learn that. Everybody really can learn that, but how? Is it always just the learning or does it take a bit of talent? And in my point of view, to produce really, really good music, you need to have this musical talent to do so. Now, I can say, because I know Rafa, I can say, Rafa is able to play. You see, Rafa is able to play the guitar beautifully. Uh, just like with the bike, I, I could also learn playing guitar. Many people can learn playing guitar. But at the end of the day, how good can we all play guitar if our talent is not that developed? And this is why I'm using able to. Because it takes a lot to play any instrument really beautifully so people can feel your music, so people can feel something when you play music. It's completely different than just hammering out the notes. You know what I mean. This is what makes a musician a musician or a successful band, a successful band. Because they not only know how to use the notes in the music, they're able to interpret these notes and put emotion into their music. And this is when, in present simple, I use Rafa is able to play beautiful music. Maybe you are able to sing beautifully. 
you see, I could also start singing, but I don't want you to run away, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, but maybe you, while you're watching, maybe you are able to sing beautifully. Everybody can sing, but is it always nice? Mm, sometimes when you listen to karaoke, you feel like scratching the wallpaper from the wall, right? So, some people are really able to sing beautifully. So, this is for the present simple. You can ride a bike and Rafa is able to play music beautifully. This is how we use it in present simple. The able to is used, on the other hand, in other time windows. Or in grammar, it is called um, tenses. Just a minute. Okay, let's have a look when to use be able to. Now let's start out with the Beatles. You all know the Beatles. Beatles are famous all over the world. Let's start out with Paul, my favorite. Paul, I think Paul is still able to sing beautifully. Now, God bless John, but let's take him as the best example. John is, check out the past of to be. Was able to sing beautifully. Just like in my explanation before, you see, they were, they were or John was such a great musician. He was, and he was able to sing beautifully. Paul McCartney is still alive. He is able to sing beautifully. And it's not just can. I can sing too. I can sing in the shower. Yeah? I don't know if you want to hear it, but I can sing. <laughs> you see? But here we're talking about something great, something grand. So. Paul McCartney is able to sing beautifully. John was, John Lennon was able to sing beautifully. Now, maybe you have a daughter or a son, and they're still very, very small, but you see a talent. And then you can say, my child will be able to sing beautifully. You have a little kid and you realize, oh, there's some talent, you know, still has a little squeaky voice, but you can keep, or he can keep the tone already really, really well, you know, and listens to me, ah, oh, picks up the song just like that, and she's standing in front of your radio and she starts singing along very sweetly. Then you're discovering a future talent. And then you can say, my child, will, future form, prognosis, be able to sing beautifully when the voice has grown. It's a prognosis, due to the will. Future, remember, will is a prognosis. Check out the videos of will. The present perfect, if you're not sure, check out the present perfect. I can say, what I call in the up to now form developments up to now, I can say we have been able to produce nice videos. You see? Rafa and I, we have been able to produce nice videos up to now. It's a development. We have started, we started something. You see, Rafa and I, 
we have been able to produce nice videos. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching now. This year, check out the present perfect in our video. Is a development up to now. And because it is present perfect, we use the half. The B changes into bean because remember it's a third form. And then, of course, our able to, which reflects our can. So that's already the whole magic. It's not complicated, is it? That's pretty easy. See? <laughs> so I can ask Rafa for in the Rafa, for how long have you been able to play music? Wow, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, Rafa doesn't even know how long he has been able to play music. So it must have been a very, very long time, but for sure he is able to do it. And Rafa will be able to produce even more songs. That is clear. So basically you're telling me that the difference between can and be able to sometimes is, for example, cook. Almost anybody can fry an egg, but not everybody's able to make a nice lasagna. Ah, you're saying it. Exactly, that is the difference, yeah? You can say everybody can fry or boil an egg, but not able, not every, <laughs> but, <laughs> But not everybody is able to produce a yummy, yummy lasagna because it takes skill. However, in the future form or in the past form, this is a bit tricky because there it has nothing to do with extreme skills. It's just a can. The can just changes into able to in different tenses. And then you can recognize if skill is really involved by listening, by the intonation. Intonation means the sound, the force of your voice and the entire context. That means uh, when I say uh, Rafa is able to produce the best lasagna, then of course you know uh, it's not just like he can ride a bike. No, he's able to produce a great lasagna. Or you have been able to fulfill this project so well. You see the context and the expression and the intonation. My voice uh, all shows that skill here is involved in the future form. I could also say, I. Uh, I would be very happy if you will be able to complete this project by the end of this week. So you see, here we're talking about skill. I would be very happy if you will be able to uh, complete this project by the end of the week. I'm, I'm, more, I'm thinking about how great that will be. And it takes a lot of skill. I know it takes skill and effort to finish it by the end of the week. Yeah. But I could also ask you, will, be, will you be able to ride your bike this weekend? Uh, and then you could say, yeah, yeah, I, th I think I'll be able to ride my bike. Uh, I think the sun will shine. You know, it's just a prognosis, you know, nothing particular skilled. Yeah? Okay? Okay. All right, then. I thank you very much for watching. If you have questions, contact me. Write me, I'll be looking forward to hearing from you and most of all, like me and subscribe. Bye.